Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts. In this video I'm going to show you what the choke pull-off does on a Motocraft 2150 two-barrel carburetor. This is the pull-off. Uh, the primary function of the choke pull-off is to help regulate the choke valve's position. That's the valve. During engine startup and warm-up to ensure smooth and efficient cold weather operation. Here's how it works. The choke valve is a butterfly shaped plate located inside the carburetor throat. Uh, when the engine is cold this valve restricts the airflow into the engine's intake manifold creating a richer air fuel mixture. This richer, richer mixture is needed for easier cold starts and initial warm-up. Uh, the choke spring or the thermostat uh, is connected to the choke valve which tries to keep the choke valve closed. You can see it's cold now and it snaps shut. Okay. The choke pull-off is a vacuum operated diaphragm or actuator located on the carburetor. It's connected to the choke linkage. And the intake manifold uh, via a vacuum hose gets this vacuum right here. Uh, this is the intake vacuum. During engine startup and initial acceleration, the choke pull-out performs the following functions. When the engine is cranked or started, it generates a partial vacuum. Excuse me. In the intake manifold. Uh, the choke pull-off utilizes this vacuum to overcome the tension of the choke spring and slightly opens the choke valve. Gradual choke release. By opening the choke valve slightly, the choke pull-off allows more air to mix with the fuel, reducing the richness of the air-fuel mixture, and this prevents the engine from running too rich and flooding during cold starts. You've got to have some air going in. Now, how to test to see if your pull-off is working. Disconnect this vacuum hose, hook up a vacuum uh, meter, pump it up to 15 HG, 15, yeah, 15 HG, and, or you can use your mouth and just suck on it if you want. I've done that, and that should pull this back. And as long as you have vacuum, it should hold there. If it leaks off, you've got a bad pull off. Otherwise, you're good to go. Now, this is a 2150. I'll put links in the description on where to find these. Uh, there's several different ones for the 2150, so be careful. Uh, match up your old one, or if you have the lucky enough to have the carburetor number, uh, match it up. Okay, so that's it. You can get parts here uh, for this at mikescarb.com. Again, the links will be in the description. I do appreciate appreciate you watching my videos. And we thank you for your business.